Hi gang, it's Viking bearded cricket tragic James Peck here and welcome to Wheatley TV at our first away match of 2021. We're here at Bawtry CC and would you look at this place? What a picture, gem of a ground. So I must have driven past here hundreds of times in my life and never realised it was here but thanks so much to Bawtry CC for allowing me to film here today. I don't know if you can uh, pick this up, Perview. We are expecting a bit of rain today. We've had uh, rain on and off all week and it's started to hail. Um, <laughs> players are going back in and there may be a delay to proceedings. Well, we're in Bawtry today, just over the border into South Yorkshire, about 10 or 15 minutes up the road from the Wheatley Oval. And I'm sure uh, second 11 vice captain Nick Perkins will be delighted to know, I'm about to mention, that Bawtry was a 12th century port. But Pecky, you live in a landlocked county, 60 miles away from the North Sea. How can this be? Well, it's an inland port, is the boring answer. <laughs> Our opponents today, Bawtry, have uh, unfortunately for them kicked off the season with a couple of losses, so they'll be itching to get off the mark against Wheatley today, who uh, similarly will want to bounce back from a chastening defeat against Thorsby Colliery. God, their opening bowlers were good, weren't they? Oh my giddy aunt. So I have Luke Tong facing up uh, first. Well in behind it and we need to the first ball. Lovely shot through the offside and it's going out towards the railway line. It's going to be picked up and they're back for two. Tongy off the mark. Oh, it's edge down and that's four runs. First badge of the day, it's gone to Tongi. Oh, clipped. And uh, you may hear the occasional whir of uh, a train going past. We are right next to the uh, East Coast Main Line between uh, London and Edinburgh, which is a uh, Busy old line. Oh, and again, very good bowling. And uh, Tongi somehow survives. Clipped off his legs. And that's going back towards the pavilion for four. And he's bowled him. And Tongi is gone. Very well bowled. And after a an enterprising start. Wheatley are 13 for one. So we've got Munch in his usual number three position. Solidly in behind it for his first ball. That is a stunning shot from Tom. The uh, rain might mean it holds up, but no. Races away for four. Top shot. Lovely shot from Tom. I mean, I've only seen him in a few matches, but he is a natural timer with a cricket ball. Superb shot. And uh, that's the answer to that last shot. <laughs> Solid straight drive from Munch. That is a superb shot. Ooh, fencing at that one bit much. No, I'm done. End of the over, 29 for one. Flicked away. Down towards the, uh, down towards the Wheatley boys. Before runs. Oh, that's a flirty shot from Tom outside the off stump. To end the 10th over. Wheatley a 40 for one. Lovely bit of keeping that one, but it's a wide. It's a butchery if I put a man in a short cover sort of position for Tom. It's obviously a plan they've got. And he's not biting at the moment. So uh, keeper up to the stumps as a result of a change of bowling from this end. 
through a pretty decent opening spell, I think. Oh, that's a lovely big shot, and that's a one bounce, four. Oh, and that's a snick, down fine. Uh, we'll have to wait for the decision, yeah, that's a four. Uh, ball trap between bat and pad there. That's been a flick fine and a forlorn chase by the fielder results in a four. It's got another change uh, from this end. A bit of spin coming on. Have a bit of spin. Oh, and Munch is uh, aimed something violent down behind square on the leg side for four. So these two have uh, put on a really solid partnership here, punctuated by regular boundaries and some very well judged singles and twos. So Wheatley in control here, 20 overs gone, 81 for one, Munch on 30, and Tom on 29. Got a change of bowling at the far end. Looks like we might have spin twins on. Tom takes a comfy single. Oh no, that's a delivery just about kept out by Tom. That's a top first over from that young man at the top end. That is a very, very nice shot. Couple of bounces into the sight screen for four. Munch has hit that out and he's been dropped. And that was the chance the ball were waiting for. And unfortunately for the fielder, he's put it down. So the score at the drinks break is uh, Wheatley are approaching 100, 95 for one. Bunch and Tom have really put on a solid partnership here and uh, that last over from uh, Bortry just before the, the drinks break uh, conjured up a couple of chances. But hopefully Tom and Munch can uh, take that in their stride and keep going here for Wheatley. They're in control at the moment, Bortry needs to drag this back. That's it. Tom's, Good job. Uh, Good boys. Pop that down to Lennon and Wheatley's 100 is up. 100 for one. We're in the 26th over. Let's uh, punch down for a comfy single by Munch. We've got um, first team skipper Eddie Toffs with us. Eddie, what have you made of proceedings so far? Um, vast improvement on last week. That's what I've taken from it. Um, yeah, the boys are stuck really well. Um, huh. Bowled well. We've just batted well. Um, so I don't know what he was doing, but we couldn't wait <laughs> um, No, just told him at drinks, just keep going, get the head down. And yes, Tom! Shot, Tom. So four from Tom through extra cover. And if we can just keep batting and keep these wickets in hand, I mean, we've got. <laughs> we're batting, I mean, me, Callum, and Callum are down 7, 8, 9. It's a ridiculous batting order today. So Excellent. If we can give ourselves some time at the end to have a go at them, then we could get 300 today. So. It's a big appeal, uh, umpire wasn't interested very early, and a quick single, leg buys. Oh, and nearly chopped on from Tom. This, I understand he's a 15 year old lad at this top end, has bowled really tightly, hasn't given anything away. And uh, with Tom itching to get to his first half century for Wheatley, it's, uh, Good battle here. Tom launches one down the ground. Oh, it's a great effort, but it's six and 50 for Tom Waterfield. His first for Wheatley. He's batted brilliantly. He's unfurled some of his lovely straight and cover drives. And uh, he and Munch here. It also brings up the 100 partnership for them. Really getting Wheatley into a strong position. Oh, and that's out. And immediately after getting his half century, Tom's fallen. 
It's a well batted Tom. And the score, as you can see, is 119 for two. Johnny loads the new man in for Wheatley in his customary number four position. Oh, there's a miss stumping. Munch dancing down the track, just unable to gather it behind the timbers. And, uh, another defensive shot from Munch. He's been stuck on 42 for a bit now. He's been tied down mainly by this brilliant uh, left arm orthodox young spinner at the top end and hopefully an injudicious shot won't follow. That was a very judicious shot. <laughs> a beautifully timed sweep for four runs. Another sweep for Munch. That's going to be a single. Moves him on to 48. Score 132 for two. 15 overs to go. Munch sweeps again. And that's going to the boundary. And that is his... 50. It's first of the season. He's batted brilliantly. And the score moves on to 138 for two. There's 14 overs to go. Make that 13 actually. Johnny punches that down the ground for a lovely four. Johnny's pulled that brilliantly for another four. Fantastic stuff. Munch punches that down. A munch punch, if you will, for a single. Another crafted extra cover drive from Johnny, and they've got back for two. And 150's up for Wheatley, with two down, with uh, 12 overs to go. Oh, and that's a big appeal, and Johnny's gone, and he's deserved that, this bowler. He's bowled brilliantly. So the amiable figure of toppers wanders to the crease. Sweep shot from Munch again, and that's been his signature this innings. Connected with that brilliantly, and that's four runs. Takes him on to 58. Well, that's the end of his spell, and that's a very, very, very impressive set of overs from that young lad. Well played. Quick single. Oh, and that's not out. <laughs> I thought the umpire had given it out then. <laughs> So we're into the last 10 overs here. Wheatley are 163. Toppers punches it out to the offside for a quick single. He moves on to four. Munch is on 58. And I think Wheatley will want to be pushing the accelerator here and uh, seeing if we can get somewhere around the 220 to 240 mark. Shot by Munch. Oh, and it's been misfielded for four. Munch has absolutely monstered that for four runs down the ground. He moves into the 70s. The score's 177 for three. Eight overs to go. Oh, it's a big shot by Munch and he's been given. So a really top knock from Munch, comfortably his best of the season so far. Off he walks for 74, scores 178 for four. So after his uh, half century last week, Eddie's uh, got a promotion and quite rightly so. He's batted brilliantly so far this season. It's a chance for him to get his teeth into the last seven overs or so of uh, 
of this innings. Oh, well bowled. They brought the uh, opening bowler back on from this, this end this time. Oh, and that is should be taken. The play has crossed, it's 178 for 5 and Cal Rutherford has joined Eddie for some big hitting. Awesome fencing outside off stump. Oh, and that's been taken. Cut it not to see uh, Cal swing the willow today, but that was a decent delivery. And as you can see, in walks Jamie Sizer, who was opening the batting last week. <laughs> Pretty decent ball. And then again, uh, Jamie Size is a pretty decent number eight. Eddie's walked down the pitch to him. And... Doesn't go... Oh, has that gone for four? I think it has, yeah. Now, this is the first time I've seen this fast bowler, but I imagine Eddie walking down the pitch is going to be met with a bit of a brute of a ball next ball. Yeah. And there's a big appeal. And it hasn't been given. Quick single has been misfielded. Oh, and Eddie's coming back for the second. Umpire's given him. So there's been a flurry of wickets here. Bolchi have really fought back brilliantly. It's 194 for seven now, and Eddie's gone. Jolly Shepherd Callum Harrison is in at nine. And immediately shops it down to third man to get off the mark with a two. Oh, and he's bowled him, and this has been an absolutely incredible over. So, this is an absolutely vintage Wheatley collapse uh, at the moment. We're in a relatively strong position. I think we'd like to nudge over that 200 mark and make it as tough for Bortry as possible. But they've bowled really well. They've come back into this game after that excellent partnership between Tom Waterfield and Munch. The score's 197. That's all the score's changed. 195 for 8, I think the score is. And the redoubtable Mad Dog has come to the crease. Jamie's top edge that. It's coming down towards me. Oh, and a great effort has uh, not stopped it going for four. Oh. Taken. So uh, Wheatley have done well, but not quite as well as 3,206 for nine. We are. Uh, 206 for 9. That's been absolutely smashed over the top of mid wicket for four runs. So, last ball of Wheatley's innings, we're on 218 for 9. Can we get over that magical 220 mark? Not quite. But, uh, that's well bowled, and that's the end of the innings. 219 for nine, we finish on. Well, while the lads have uh, well-deserved tea, um, I'm not usually one for shout-outs, but I thought I'd make an exception for Mr. Bramer's fifth grade class at an elementary school in Michigan, USA, who have just taken up the game of cricket after being inspired by a book they're learning about. And a huge hats off to you guys. They're um, obsessed with cricket now and are using Wheatley's videos as a bit of a reference to see how the game is played, which is utterly mind-blowing. Without getting too mawkish and emotional about it, it's comfortably the best thing that's happened to this channel since we started. So thanks so much to Mr. Bramer for getting in touch and to you guys for trying cricket. You are plugging yourselves into a conversation that can be had with billions of people across the world who will share your passion for this game. And trust me, most cricket fans will talk to you about this game until the cows come home. So let's just say Mr. Bramer and I might have been cooking up a cunning plan to connect with you guys a bit more directly. 
and I should be seeing you on Zoom next week. And we're also going to be filming some coaching bits and bobs that you can try across the pond over there, just for you. But until then, brave pioneers in a cricketing outpost, Wheatley and cricket in general salutes you. Carl Rutherford opening the bowling for Wheatley, the end of the first over of uh, Bawtry's innings. They need 220. Jamie Size is going to open up from the top end. Oh, that's been edged between the two slips down here for four. It's a very nice little punch out into the leg side by this young lad. He's opening the batting as well after his uh, sterling efforts with the ball. Oh, big appeal, and it's been turned down. Oh, that's nicely bowled by Cal. Clipped out into the uh, leg side for a single. Oh, drilled back at Jamie and it's nutmegged him before. Lovely shot. Lovely clip off his legs. That's four runs. Another fantastic shot down the ground, but brilliantly stopped by Eddie and uh, saves three runs. Oh, more lovely volley from Cal. Nice clip out. It's been chased down to the boundary, and that's four runs. On punch, and it's just about being collected, and they get two. So after ten overs, uh, Baltry on 37, without loss, they've uh, batted really, really well, very comfortable looking as well. Oh, it's being edged. It's going to be four. Nicely placed. Down to third man for four. And again, a really nicely engineered shot. It's just about been pulled back. And that's a couple of runs. So Scissor's going to have a bit of a breather, and Henry Patterson is coming on, the rampaging teenager himself, after his first wicket of the season. And is that it? It is! Well Henry comes straight on and shows him how it's done. And well played that man, he's had a really good match. It's 47 for 1. Uh, another stoppage for a train going by. <laughs> it's uh, been a, a running theme throughout the day, you might not have seen them all. It's got a double change now, we've got Callum Harrison coming on, the vice captain of this side. To bowl his off spin. Ouch. Oh, that's a brilliant catch. So this double bowling change has uh, reaped the rewards for uh, Eddie. Double dividends, you could say. 49 for two. Six to the Dover. Ooh. A bit wafty outside off stump there. Well, the 50's up for Bawtry, but um, Cal and Henry have really put the brakes on their innings at the moment. Oh, that's taken brilliantly. Well, this double bowling change is looking better and better for Wheatley. 
brought through your work cruising and suddenly find themselves three down with just over 50 on the board. Oh, that's been brutally swung away for four. Looks like a bit of acrobatics is involved to get the ball back here at Portry sometimes. Lovely stroke. Four runs. That's an edge and that's out. So Henry is uh, being richly rewarded for sticking to line and length like he has done for the first two uh, matches of the season, unrewarded. Now he's uh, getting it all back. Oh, and that was a superb delivery first up. Oh, Henry's been bowling brilliantly. Bowled him. Superb bowling from Cal. Five down. And this Bortry reply is now in tatters at 69 for five. Wheatley are applying the pressure and it's paying off. So we've got a change at the top end. Luke Tong coming on to bowl. Oh, there could be a mix up here. And just about got back. Cut away, it's a really lovely shot. Four runs. Oh, nicely bowled by Tongi, and nicely taken by Mad Dog. The score is 82 for five. There's 20 overs to go. Oh, that's gone straight through him. Like water through a sieve. That's been taken at short mid wicket. The uh, sixth wicket falls for Bawtree. Well, we've got 18 overs to go. So the uh, first ball for this number eight for Bawtree. Solidly forward. That ends another good over from Cal. He's got four wickets. So what I'm going to be calling the Luke Tong experiment is continuing. It's a fantastic pull shot for four. He moves on to 46, this chap. He's playing a lone hand. He's the one of the openers. I think he's the captain. And he needs someone to stick with him here. Bold him. The Luke Tong experiment pays off. The sport tree batting lineup is uh, collapsing in a heap here. It's uh, 91 for seven. Bowled him. Brilliant. Yorker from Tongi. Launched over the top. And a brilliant piece of fielding from Oh no, it isn't quite. That's gone for four. And that is 50 runs. Like I said earlier, he's played a lone hand, he's batted brilliantly. Blasted. Through extra cover for four. Brilliant shot. And he's gone into T20 mode. Back to back fours and that brings up the 100 for Bawtree. 100 for eight. 16, no, 15 overs to go now. This has been a really clinical bowling performance so far from Wheelie. They've absolutely smothered this uh, Bawtree lineup. As he just squirts that one down to third man. Could just go. It has. Sweet shot. Just in front of Henry. And that's four runs. Oh, Mad Dog's gone up for an appeal there. It's been swiftly turned down by the umpire. Swift work there. Dab down, that's a lovely shot. 
Toppers is uh, down here, so he's fielded that. One run. Takes the score on to 116 for eight. There's 13 overs to go. Slammed away, four runs. Super shot. Nicely played. Right to the offside. And that's a brilliant piece of fielding. And they're going back for two. Bottom by Lunch. That's oh, that's a brilliant catch. So after that uh, mini partnership there, 126 for nine is the score. That is a huge six. Fantastic shot. Well, you can play shots like that when you've carried your bat. Oh, very nicely bowled by Tommy. So, Wheatley are uh, looking for this uh, last wicket. This chap's looking for his century. It's batted brilliantly. 80 not out out of a 141. That's gone over his head for six. Fantastic shot. It takes him into the 90s. <laughs> shot at <laughs> six. He's on to 98. This is absolutely blistering batting. So this chap's on 99 now. He is batted like a Trojan and he fully deserves a century if he gets it. That's straight down the ground just over Eddie's head. And he comes back for two. And that is one of the best centuries you will ever see. What absolutely brilliant knock. Well played, sir. And are we in a ashes headingly 2019 situation here? I hope we're not for Wheatley's sake, but he's it doesn't look like he's getting out anytime soon. And Cal's taken in commentator's curse. And Wheatley have won. Well that was an amazing knock. Well played to him. Wheatley emerge victorious. So Wheatley get their second win of the campaign. Comfy victory in the end, but my goodness, there were a few jittery moments there. And in the end, um, Bortry put up a pretty good fight. Well done to them. Good luck to them for the rest of the season, apart from against us, obviously. And we'll see you next week for a classic ding-dong local derby against Altsall Bryden. All best.